This Lions team is going up against the Denver Broncos team at home. That takes away the ball at the highest rate in the NFL. And the Lions have not been have not been very good at taking care of the ball. They've given up the ball, what, eight, nine, ten times in the past four weeks. So they're gonna have to worry about that. They have playmakers in that Broncos defense that like to take care or that like to take the ball away from opposing offenses. So Jared Goff is gonna have to be on high alert. And now it seems like at least the Bears, but I can see a lot of NFL teams following that same script that the Bears have done, where if you take away that middle of the field out of Jared Goff's repertoire, it gets pretty limited, the things that he's going to be able to do when it comes to pushing the ball to the boundary, playing outside the numbers, and pushing the ball down the field. Jared Goff's arm strength, his mobility, things like that factor in. And when you can't just eat in the middle of the field with Amon Ross St. Brown, with Sam Laporta, and you actually have to make... I don't know, NFL caliber throws to the boundary and down the field, he seems a little unable to do so. So I could see a lot of NFL teams, when they're playing the Lions, adapting a similar game plan that we've seen out of the Chicago Bears. Now, the Chicago Bears have a very athletic pair of linebackers that can make that possible, but the Broncos have good linebacker gore and they have good safety, so I think they'll be able to do a similar thing. It's going to be a tough matchup for Jared Goff, man. I think uh, the key of things, as you've heard a lot throughout the week, is get back to the basics. And I think that what it is for the Detroit Lions is running the football. It's as simple as that. That's how they established. I mean, Jared Goff, if you want me to give you a compliment for the gobblers out there, he is one of the best play-action quarterbacks in the game right now. <clears throat> Indisputable. And that goes along with a great run game. And the, the thing about this Denver Broncos team, too, is I, I get it's a scary defense when it comes to turnovers. And you see the couple of wins they've gotten the past couple of weeks. But they rank 31st DVOA against the run. Yeah. They, they are not great against the run. So, and that's obviously what the Detroit Lions do best when they do do it. And I think that's just like one thing you have to do when you have a Jared Goff quarterback is you have to just manhandle your team in the run game. And I think that's something Detroit Lions going to be able to do, man. I, I really do. Which will, in turn, open things up for Jared Goff. Like I said, I've, I've said that the past five weeks. I don't know if I can keep saying that because that's, that's been my keys to success for the Detroit Lions over the past five weeks. Run the ball, take care of the rock, don't turn it over, and you'll win games. And I, they should have won all these games doing that, but they haven't been able to do that. So I can't keep up, keep, keep coming up here and be like, yeah, you know, all the Lions have to do, run the ball and not turn it over, and it's going to be great. Well, let's fucking see. Can they do it one week out of this past five-week stretch? It'll be nice. So, again, yeah, that's the fucking key to success. We'll see if they can do it.